Hey guys, what's going on? This is Eric here, and today I'm back with a brand new series, actually on the classic game UB Funkies, which is actually one of the first iterations of a Toy to Life video game. This is actually a remake of a popular series that I had way back in 2015 that is unfortunately no longer available. So today I'd like to start off with the very first Funky I've ever had, Drift. This is actually the original Drift figure that I had way back in the day. I also have uh, the other variants of Drift as well. Uh, there you guys go. You can see him in the camera there. And pretty much, you know, we're going to enter the Drift Raceway. Pretty much once you're inside here, you can just click here to enter the mini game that is associated with that Funky. Or you can go to the Drift Market and, you know, buy some stuff related to that Funky. So we're going to go ahead and do both. Pretty much what this series aims to do is it's going to, you know, pretty much make a comprehensive, you know, list of all the funky games, quests, pretty much everything funky related in a nice orderly series. And even better than the 2015 series, hopefully. So this is Flipper Fever, and our objective here, you know, this is a pinball type game, and our objective here is to get the high score trophy and also the gem at the bare minimum. There's also a high score item, but I'm not going to be as much of a stickler on that. The gem's really important because that's actually what goes to extend the plot of the game. So, you know, pretty much in every single UB Funky game that I'm going to be playing, you know, I, oh my gosh, that was terrible. I, I'll need the gem for everyone in order to really get this full story out there. I don't think there's a single YouTube channel right now that pretty much has the full UB Funky story out there. So, I mean, oh my gosh, that's just a terrible score. That's okay because uh, the gem's dependent on cumulative score. Now, when it comes to Flipper Fever, the big strat here is you want to get it in the ball into the big ramps. Getting it into the big ramps allows for permanent, or well, not permanent, but it lasts for as long as the ball is active. Score multipliers. With score multipliers, you know, each time you know you hit it, it becomes twice as many points, three times, four times, five times as many points per interaction. So I mean that's huge for real. Oh my gosh, I, I just wasn't paying as much attention. This won't be a great round, but it'll, it'll be an okay start around. This this will really highlight how well I do in future sessions, I think. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, we got this one. Slam that boy up there. You can also get other interesting stuff, such as like the multi ball, which can add in another ball to your session and stuff. So you can have two balls on the screen at once. Pretty much like an extra life, pretty much. Which is all fun and good. We really gotta get like a times two up there here or something. I mean, what we're doing now is not very uh, big in the point category at all. Let's see. Come on, not, not too bad, not too bad. There we go. Uh, let's see. It's going up. 15,000 15, isn't bad. I mean, I think what you want for the trophy is going to be around 25,000. So without even getting any of these bonuses, keep in mind we're on our last ball already. And I kind of wish it was just over already so we could get on to the next, you know, turn. We'll see. I don't know what's going on. Like, normally it just ends up like getting over there just with a little bit of tries, you know, a little bit of hitting it around. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close, but can't fool me. I'm also a big pinball guy. I'm not. I'm not like a huge pinball guy, but you know, I played Sonic pinball and that weird. Oh my gosh! When I ever get, whenever I get too into the conversation, I already got the trophy. What the heck? Nineteen thousand two hundred. That's it. I just know we can do way better. Way, way, way better. I think the cumulative score that you want is going to be around like 140,000, 150,000, somewhere in that ballpark. I really don't remember off the top of my head. I mean, it's been forever since I played, but yeah. In fact, I got that 
trophy so quick was crazy. I always do bad on my first mall this game. Don't even sweat that one, guys. Don't even think like Eric's gonna get salty. No, 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 no. I get, I get. You, you'll see me when I get salty. It's not, it's not gonna happen yet. Oh, it, it, it hit the ball, but it must have just been the rotten angle or something. What was that? Oh my gosh. Maybe this game just not my game. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see. Um, okay, that, that almost looked like... Oh, wow. We got, we got it through the big ramp. We're at times two. That's huge. That's huge, guys. That's huge. The ball sort of stuck in these, like, four little things. Like, bouncers. But, like I said, we finally got it out of there. Oh, times three. Now this 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 could be an okay run. Oh, there we go. Let's uh, force of times four. Times four, baby. Easy. And our score literally goes up so much faster. Like multi ball, and it's gonna just fire it out on its own. Wow, we're getting we're getting a lot of points, guys. This is crazy. I just gotta stay focused. Times five with two balls active. Wow, this is some of the best I've ever done. Paying attention to these two balls is really tough, though. Oh gosh, one, one fell through. 62,000. Wow, that's crazy. My gosh, that was deadly close. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda kinda sweat a little bit. We just gotta keep this ball going up forever, I mean. Whoa, multi-ball again? No way. I guess if it's not that long. Come on, just we need one ball up and then one ball like Oh, that one fell in so quick. Over a hundred thousand points. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, wow. We barely saved that one. Oh, no. It's because I had the right one up and the left one came down. Dang. We got the flipper futon for a high score. All right. After that big performance, you know, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit until we get the gem. Don't want to, like saturate this video too much with just, you know, random content. Guys, we just got that gem. Feeling good. Warning. You now have in your possession a powerful gem shard. Guard it carefully. Master Lox will stop at nothing to gain this shard. I'm sure that even now, his henchmen are alerting him that it has been found. No one knows for sure how many gem shards have survived the explosions of the great disaster. Perhaps there are more. Guys, of course there are more, and of course it's up to me to grab every single gem shard known to man. What's kind of nice is, uh, you know, we've only done, played the game like four times and got everything. Here's just some stuff, and all this stuff that you buy goes towards, like, your crib. Fortunately, we just bought, like, a really expensive card, and we don't have a lot of money. We can buy, like, cones. Your crib's just sort of like your hub, like, if you play Club Penguin, it's like your igloo or in Neopets, it's like your house. 
and shit like that. It's just a place where you can, um, you know, sort of hang out, flex all your stuff. You get a lot of stuff. What is interesting, though, depending on the funky that you have selected, the rare the funky is, the, um, the more items that are going to be available within the shop. So we do have a very crazy, you know, um, collector incentive with, with these funkies that's actually a lot of fun and can be pricey. So yeah guys, that was my first UB Funkies video. It's Return to Form Baby. This is the Eric Barber Renaissance that so many have prophesized. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more UB Funkies content. Peace.